Thank you for watching videos by Jeff Sibelius and LandAndAirPhotos.com. In this episode, I'll review DJI's 5.5 inch Crystal Sky Monitor. In my previous video, I went through the specifications and marketing hype for Crystal Sky monitors. The important question is, how well do the monitors perform? That's what I'll explain in this episode. Leading up to the time of Crystal Sky's release, I was mildly curious about the product. Primarily because I hate using those awkward sun hoods, but phones and tablets are too dim to see in direct sunlight without them. Unfortunately, after a DJI update in early 2017, my mild curiosity quickly became an urgent need. My iPad Mini 2 began suffering constant loss of video sync with the drone, especially after it got warm. My iPhone 6 Plus was just as bad. A quick read of DJI discussion forums showed that many other pilots were having the same problem. Regardless, thanks to the failure of my iOS devices, my Phantom 4 Pro had become virtually unusable as an aerial camera. As soon as I found a dealer that had Crystal Sky monitors in stock, I ordered the 5.5 inch version. My expectations were pretty low. I doubted that a brighter screen would have that much effect in sunlight, but the potential for improved compatibility with the Go 4 app made it worth trying. The Crystal Sky arrived and I was able to set it up very easily. The optional bracket is installed on the transmitter in only a minute or two. Attaching the monitor to the bracket is as simple as unlocking the bracket, sliding the monitor into place, and locking it in. Once locked in, the monitor feels far more solid than any phone or tablet I've connected up to now, and I really liked how secure it was. DJI put several input-output options into the monitor, including two micro SD ports and USB and HDMI ports. I was happy to see that I could hook up my unique Skyview goggles to the HDMI port and use them with no problem. The build quality of this monitor is extremely good, solid and sturdy. And I love the fact that the battery has an indicator that displays your level of charge. I also love that the battery is external, so you can swap out a low battery with a replacement rather than having to shut down and recharge it. So my first impressions of the Crystal Sky were very positive. Its quality construction and great features fit the price point for this device. All that said, the real test was how well the screen worked while I was flying. Whether I would keep the monitor or dump it on eBay depended on how well the screen performed in sunlight and heat, and if it kept its video sync. Well, it didn't take too long to decide. By the end of my first flight with the 5.5 inch Crystal Sky, I already knew I was going to sell it. But only because it was so incredibly good I wanted the 7.85 inch version. The Crystal Sky screen is brilliant, pun intended. Standing in direct sunlight in the middle of the day, I could see the screen clearly without a sunshade. And after several minutes of flight, the monitor had no glitches or loss of video sync. And even with 98 degree sunlight beating down on me, it didn't overheat. Crystal Sky makes the average phone or tablet look really, really bad. Indoors, it's easy to see that the screen is bright and sharp with brilliant color rendition. Here's a comparison of the iPhone 6 Plus, iPad Mini 2, and Crystal Sky outdoors, but in the shade. Here's the same comparison in direct sunlight. This photo does not do justice to Crystal Sky. The monitor is far more visible than what this shows. All that said, Crystal Sky does have its faults, mostly involving price. I think most people will believe these monitors are expensive for a Wi-Fi only device that doesn't perform other functions. I know I did when I ordered. This is one of those cases where you notice the price before you buy, but see the value afterwards. Still, it's a lot to pay for a device that doesn't give you all the functionality of a cell phone or tablet. 
Worse, the monitor doesn't include a wall cable for its battery charger. You must use a charger from the Phantom 3 or 4 or Inspire drone. People who fly the Mavic or Spark will have to purchase this separately. DJI really should have included a power cord for the charger. Along the same lines, Crystal Sky does not come with the bracket to attach it to the controller. This omission is more understandable than the power cord in my opinion, because a different bracket will be required for the Phantom, Mavic, and Spark controllers. So it makes sense to sell the bracket separately. But 79 bucks is pretty rich for a mounting bracket. Mavic and Spark owners are also hampered by the fact that DJI hasn't yet released a bracket for those two aircraft. Some entrepreneurs have created their own mounting brackets. One example is Evolution 3D's mount for the Mavic. It costs less than DJI's Phantom Bracket and it features an ingenious adjustable design that has earned positive reviews from Mavic owners. A link to this bracket is in the description below. I mentioned the other issue with Crystal Sky in the first video. Many DJI owners complain that they can't install third-party apps on the monitor. This may change in the future, but for now, if you're going to use this monitor, you're going to use DJI apps only. Retail prices for the Crystal Sky are pretty high, comparable to what you pay for phones and good tablets. Once you get past the sticker shock, however, you will love Crystal Sky. No more fumbling for sunshades. No more struggling to see your screen. And so far, for me at least, no problems with video sync or Go app conflicts. Crystal Sky delivers on every promise. It's rare that a product lives up to its hype so well. The monitor has not only fixed the video sync problems with my Phantom 4 Pro, the brilliant screen makes the drone a more successful aerial camera because it allows me to see what I'm shooting so I can line up and fly perfectly composed shots. I'm going to get one of the 7.85 inch versions when they become available. When I do, I'll post a second video to compare its screen to this 5.5 inch version. Be sure to subscribe to this channel so you know when that video is released. I hope you found this video to be helpful. Follow the link on screen for more videos on flying drones. Also, I set up a Facebook group to make it easier for us to talk and arrange opportunities to fly together. Follow the link below to sign up for the group. Thanks for watching.